In this special report for AITA, we take a look at the magnitude of the challenges ahead when it comes to tackling climate change, the global cost of taking action, and the cost if we don't. From forest fires to flash floods, deforestation to mass migration, the world is already feeling the devastating impacts of climate change. Because climate change is the consequence of cumulative emissions, we've locked into the next couple to three decades of climate change. Now the global community is scrambling to mitigate the effects of the climate crisis and to limit the average global temperature increase to one and a half degrees, even half a degree warmer could have grave consequences. In the two degree world, what we would see would be uh, increases in extreme events, like such as heat waves, flooding, or droughts, or like increasing uh, tropical cyclones. And that's like in, in terms of both frequency as well as intensity. At the same time, we would also see like a reduction in Arctic sea ice and also permafrost. Article 6 of the Paris Climate Agreement is the framework that helps countries cooperate to achieve their targets for reducing emissions, known as their nationally determined contributions. It's those targets that nations are now striving to achieve, with many aiming to reach net zero emissions by 2050, in line with the 2015 climate deal's goals. Not doing so could have enormous financial costs. If you don't really meet the Paris goal, you will face significant losses because you see increasing in extreme events, and that basically costs you like billions or trillions of dollars everywhere globally. So there's actually significant costs if you're not meeting Paris Agreement. But cooperation is the key. It's not enough for individual countries to come up with their own plans. They have to collaborate and work together if there's to be any chance of driving down emissions. That's where the International Emissions Trading Association comes in. As the leading business organisation for trading in greenhouse gas emissions, it advocates for collaborative efforts via market-based climate solutions. That's a vital part of global climate change strategy. One thing we know is that cooperation uh, enables people to do more with less, with fewer resources. And so Article 6 was put in to enable that. And it says you guys can cooperate. You can have your in, uh, nationally determined contribution, but you can achieve that nationally determined contribution by working together. And you can work together in any number of ways. You can develop technology together and deploy it jointly. Uh, you can uh, even create carbon markets that bring lots of parties together uh, to work together in this marketplace uh, where uh, you use the power of markets to lower the cost of achieving your NDC goals. If we, we don't have a well-functioning market, then you don't really have all these opportunities. Countries may still continue pursuing net zero, but it's going to be much harder effort for everyone. So I think that's kind of one thing. And the worst case is like, if we don't have market, maybe for some places it's really hard to get to zero and we never really get to 1.5 degree world. Markets make the net zero goal more attainable faster and cheaper than acting unilaterally. The World Bank recently released a report focused on the role of carbon pricing in helping achieve that target. International markets um, have a huge potential in contributing towards um, getting to net zero. They can provide an incentive to raise the ambition um, of companies or governments that are seeking to reduce their emissions or raise the ambition of their climate strategies. They can also serve as conduits for the much needed investment, especially to developing countries um, and other emerging economies. Tools that could benefit the planet over the coming decades. This is a transition that we are anticipating making over the next two to three decades. And that's a complete transformation. And so managing that transformation is really going to be a challenge that I don't want to underestimate. We are going to have to keep our eye on that goal all along 
and work to make it happen if it is to happen. With carbon markets a key component of the global strategy to tackle the climate crisis and redefine business as usual.